Welcome everyone to qualifying. This should be a good one. Alternative tire allocation rules are in Which was the better arc in The Walking Dead Season 4, Episode 10? Of course, it was a very unique episode. I think it was like the beginning of, I wouldn't say the downfall of The Walking Dead. Well, I mean, it probably was actually. Who am I, who am I trying to kid you? Yeah. I mean, honestly, this is when we began to get, like, The Walking Dead would begin to, like, split up groups, have, like, small portions of groups here. So, it was a unique episode for its time, but as The Walking Dead went on, this just became the norm. If we're being brutally honest about it. So, let's talk about it. You want to talk about it, folks? Well, let's get stuck straight into it because we've got four options. And, of course, we're going to kick off in last place. We've got Maggie, Bob, and Sasha. And for me, I wouldn't necessarily say it's the worst. Now, obviously, I think some people are just looking at certain characters and be like, Oh, I, I, think, I think he's the best character, so that automatically makes the best group. That's not really how it works, but here, I'm not going to try and defend Maggie, Bob and Sasha. It was kind of pathetic what they did. They just went to a bus, killed a bunch of walkers trying to find Glenn, and that was pretty much it. There's not really an awful lot more, but at least what they did, like, there was a purpose to what they did, right? There was an actual purpose. Now, if we look at other groups in a wee minute, we'll quickly discover that there wasn't really much of a purpose all to that either. So... So Let's look at it, folks. We have got in yeah, first place, we've got Tyrese, Judith, yeah, Luke, and Lizzie, and of course Carol, but I guess Carol doesn't really appear to the end. I just feel sorry for Tyrese, because at this point he's just looking go after in, three kids. You know, two kids that are like ten, Copy. and then a baby. The guy, and he's been shot, I believe, so not exactly ideal for Tyrese. I mean, he's been given a big pile of. He's been given chicken shit, and he's supposed to turn it into chicken salad. We've all heard that thing before. That's pretty much. What he's been left to do, and um, seriously, like, what what can the guy, what can the guy genuinely do? He can't genuinely, he can't do fuck all with it. I mean, what, what can he honestly do with these characters? Nothing. That's the answer. Uh, then in second place, we've got Glenn and Tara. For me, the best one, just due to the simple fact is, like, we see Glenn wake up, we see um, his reaction to Herschel's death. We also get the introduction of Glenn, Abraham, and Co. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and. Uh, say to you guys that here, this was the, the, the greatest thing since sliced bread, but at the same time, it was good seeing like characters being introduced and all that shit um, as well. And also, I just think the dialogue between these two was the best. Then, in first place, we've got Daryl and Beth. And for me, this was actually the worst arc of the three. It's literally just these three running, uh, no, these three, these two running, not doing anything. Like, honestly, there's, there's nothing to write home about here with Daryl and Beth. They do nothing. They absolutely did nada. Silch. Good night. Nothing, man. Absolutely nothing got done between these jabronis known as uh, Daryl and Beth. It was just these two running, they fall on the ground. Beth's kind of giving like her only speech and that's it. And for me it's the worst. Like, we recently reviewed Still. Make sure you check out on Sunday, uh, Saturday, sorry. Um, it's not actually as bad on like a second funeral, it's not particularly great either. Um, but for me, the, the correct order would be Glenn and Tara, 
Mobby, 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 Maggie, Bob, Sasha, Tyrese, Jureth, Mika and Lizzie, and then Daryl and Beth. For this episode, honestly, really left a lot to the imagination. Here this we shit. Are, uh, We're back then our another comment day says, Bridget Connor, Kurt, Kurt, Kurt is due. Tyrese has his it's hands so quite literally between Jureth, Mika and Lizzie. Monster Mandy served some sort of award for dealing with the diaper change the I agree, I'm, I'm actually, I mean, we think we've said during there a few, I'm surprised Tyrese just didn't sunny. fucking kill all three of them, but here, I wouldn't really have been able to pass on to television, would it? But anyway guys, till next well, time you fuck the blow know, peace. This race is going to be fast, and Monza is ready for it. All 10 teams are now getting set up. Here we go. It's the Italian Grand Prix. It's lights out and away we go. Lifting coast. Okay, copy. Let's close the gap now. Focus. short term yes I was with you I got the message I'll come back to you Close the gap if you can.
could fuck off. Yes. Look out for your tires. Copy. Heads down, focus. Okay, back off. We can start reducing lift the coast. Here's the pace. Box. Yeah, copy. Looks like it was Alonso involved in that one. Push hard. Happy to push hard. Is it going to be off? Okay. I'm not boxing this up. Box, box. Get the pack under control. She's up the overtake.
my wall pack. Copy. So lifting coast level three. Yes, copy. Like go on board. Copy. Please. Copy. Focus, focus and push. We think you can reduce lift and coast. Yep. And go push. Copy. Check the flight. That's P18. You are out of race. Well, things just didn't go well for Yuki Tsunoda. Yeah. <laughs> 